What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create horror cinematic looks in Vegas Pro 15. Now there's going to be four things we're going to be adding to the video. This consists of colour, a vignette and black bars. Now the reason there's four things even though I just mentioned three things, there's two different sorts of colour um, corrections we're going to be adding. Now this is the raw footage, you can see it's walking down an alley, not really scary but we can make it look really scary. So the first thing we're going to be doing is heading over to video effects. If you do not see it, come up to view, windows layout and simply select default layout. Now from here, the first thing we're going to head over to is color curves and we're going to be adding on night. So simply drag and drop this onto your footage. Now straight away, there's the difference. So this is without, this is with. So it's already given us a nighttime feel. Now I'm going to be changing a bit of the settings, so the green I'm going to bump it up a little bit, so you can see we have more of a green tint, but then the red we're also going to bump this up as well, so now we also have a red and a green tint blended in. Now there's also the blue which I'm going to be bringing it up as well, not from this side though, from the lower end, so I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. And as you can see, it now gives us a blue, red, green tint all blended together to give us more of a nighttime cold feeling. So this is without it, that's with it. Now, we're not done there. The next thing I'm going to be doing is heading over to color balance. And from color balance, we're dragging and dropping on red mid-tones. So drag and drop this on. And you can see this is a very strong red. All we're going to be doing is turning this down to 0.050. Now, this is just the settings I think are good. You can, by all means, experiment with the settings I'm showing you. We're then gonna X out of this, and we're gonna come all the way down to soft contrast. So you can see it's right here. And we're gonna be adding on warm vignette. So drag and drop this onto your clip. As you can see, this is what it's gonna give us. It's gone really dark. What we're gonna be doing, so on the effect, we're gonna turn all of this down. Now the tint you can use, so you can go for a red and bring up the tint if you would like to. Um, I'm going to leave it at 30% with a red tint. I'm then going to head over to Vignette. And now this is where we get control of the edges. Now you might you may like it like this and that's completely fine. But I also do recommend turning down the strength just a little bit. And then the exterior effect, it's currently set to black. If I select this, we can have other different types. Now we have white and transparent, but them ones I don't recommend for this style of video. So I would even recommend a blur, and then I'll put the strength all the way up. As you can see, we get this type of effect. Or I would recommend black, and then just turning down the strength to match what or how you like it. So I'm going to stick with black for this one, and everything else, all the other settings, I like the way it is. So I'm going to X out of that, and there's one last thing we need to add. Although this video sort of came with black bars, most videos don't have black bars. So what we're going to be doing is heading over to the pan and crop. And now all you're going to be doing is make sure you're on the very first keyframe, uncheck lock aspect ratio and just have size about center checked. Then just drag in from the top. As you can see, black bars are now entering onto our screen. So you can see they're right here. I'll bring it down just a touch. There you go. So now they're really visible. And I'll X out of it. I've just chosen them really thick to show you they are there. Playing it through, this is then what we get. Now, to show you before and after all of the effects, I'm going to press this button. Everything on the left is before. Everything on the right is after. So you can see it like that. Then I'll also show it to you this way. And then I'll also show it to you this way. So you can see just like that we've turned um, daytime to nighttime and horror. Now one last thing I'm going to be showing you very quickly, if you head back to the effects by pressing event effects, we can save these as a preset, meaning you won't have to come back to this video and remember these settings over and over again. What you do, come to your, for example, color curves and we'll call this horror and we'll press this save preset button. Now if I X out of this and any time in the future I head back over to color curves, you're going to see right here is horror.
What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create horror cinematic looks in Vegas Pro 15. Now there's going to be four things we're going to be adding to the video. This consists of colour, a vignette and black bars. Now the reason there's four things even though I just mentioned three things, there's two different sorts of colour um, corrections we're going to be adding. Now this is the raw footage, you can see it's walking down an alley, not really scary but 